All right, welcome to our video on programming the PS Pi version six from Other Mod. Uh, like I said in the, at the end of the last one, the first thing I'm going to be doing is soldering 10k resistor to the headphone board because I found it, and then we'll get to programming the board. So let's work on this guy here first. soldering from this pin on the resistor or on the from this point on the one that's there already to basically any spot on his logo I'm gonna just go for a nice big spot right here That. Now for this portion, I'm first going to go and tin all of the pads. And we're going to grab and strip some wire. I'm using Ethernet wire just because that's what I have lots of. I need six total wires. If you're using Ethernet cable, same as me, I'm going to use orange for MOSI, blue for MISO, green for clock, and brown for reset. I'm going to use brown white as my ground, and I'm going to use orange white as my power, my 3 volt power. Alright, now let's start with MOSI. Last one, your ground pin goes into the third on the left on the top row of the GPIO connector here. Like that. The downside with using uh, Ethernet cable is it's solid core, it's rigid, so it makes soldering on fairly difficult. Those connections can also be fragile. So just, if you have other wire, you can use that. Alright, so next we're going to wire up the other end of it. So let's start once again by turning the wires. Alright, and I will put a pin diagram, like which, which connections go where on the screen. And we just start soldering it up. All right, that's done. So, word of advice, do not, under any circumstances, use Ethernet. It sucks. Uh, the solid core makes it really difficult to work with. Um, I wouldn't do this again.
now I'm going to boot up this Pi and we'll do the rest of it. Actually, before we boot up this Pi, I'm going to recommend taking off your power one until we're actually ready to program. I don't know that it would cause any problems, but just in case. Alright, so I'm going to take you through this process from scratch, assuming that you have just installed a brand new copy of Raspbian and have done nothing else. So like I said, this is a brand new fresh copy of Raspbian. I haven't changed anything, I haven't pre-downloaded anything. We're going to go from scratch. I've transferred to a flash drive, which isn't detected. Oh, there we go. So I've transferred to a flash drive all the files that we're going to need. And I'm going to copy them to the root, or not to the root, but to the home folder of the, uh, of the Raspberry Pi. So in here is the hex file that we'll be writing, as well as the link to the website that we'll be down to, like for the instructions from Adafruit that we'll be following, and the commands that we need to send to the Pi after. So we're going to paste those right here. get rid of my flash drive. So the first step is we're going to go to this site. step by step. First step, we're going to install AVRD. Copy this text and open up the terminal. Paste it in. to install. Okay, now that it's installed, I'm going to verify the installation. same pin layout that I put on the screen earlier. Then we're going to copy the code for the easy installation, which is what we did. Paste it in. That, what that's done is copied the uh, made a copy of the config file and put it in this location and then we've now opened up the file in that location. We're going to copy 
copy this code. Back in here, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. bottom. We're going to paste this code into it. And then we're going to hit control X. It's going to ask us if we want to save. We say yes. And it's asking what file name we want. We just hit enter. And that's done. So this configuration exactly what it says here. It makes a uh, programmer with the name pi underscore one. That's done. Back into here. We can close this completely now. Open back up my programming instructions and grab the first line. Copy. Paste. All right. So I had a few problems. Um, there was a minor mistake in my scripts, but they will be updated for everybody. So, oh, when you go to run this command, which is just, hey, is there communication on that board? See how it's throwing errors here? It's because I still haven't connected power to that, to that board. We still have that disconnected for safety. So we're going to plug that back in right there, and then we'll run it again. And we see it goes through the tests, it's communicating with the board, it says everything's wired up correctly, good to proceed. Back into our scripts, so this is the part that I had left out when I wrote it the first time. So we're gonna copy this and fix it for everyone. Make sure these scripts are updated in the description as well. So now I'm going to copy this one. And this will set the fuses. Alright. We're saying golden. back to the scripts and copy this one. This points to the hex file. I put the hex file in my uh, in my home folder. Right there. So that's this file right here. So when we run this it's going to Flash the firmware to the board. And that's it. It was at this moment that the cleaners in our building decided they were going to start vacuuming right outside my office. So what I was going to say, the last thing you need to do is uh, desolder the wires from the PSPi6 board. Um, and that's it. This board is ready to go. In our next video, we're going to clean up a PSP. Um, We'll remove the main board and everything out of it, and we're going to wash and deep clean everything from an old PSP. They are fairly old, and there aren't very many clean ones out there. And then we'll start assembly. Until next time, just remember, it doesn't matter if you make or break, as long as you're having fun.